Hey drummers, parents, and educators. Welcome to Doug's Online Drum Lessons. My name is Doug, and we're gonna be talking about combination rudiments today. And if you don't know what rudiments are, in the drumming community, rudiments are simply unique and specific ways drummers learn to use their hands. Right? They're the building blocks of everything that drummers do. For the parents looking to find what online lessons look like and if it's worth it for your child, or you would like to learn for yourself, but you're not really sure what online lessons are, just keep on watching. You'll see actual recorded lessons with my real students who I've been teaching for a while, with their parents' permission, of course. For the rest of you wanting to work on your drumming skills by learning what combination rudiments are and how to play them, then you can stop this video at any time during the lesson, okay? Try to play back what you heard, or you can play the notation that you see on the screen. In order to get the most out of this lesson though, you should already know three different rudiments. The paradiddle, the flam, and the drag. If you don't know what those rudiments are yet, don't worry, it's not a problem. Just go to www www.dougsonlinedrumlessons.com and sign up for the free Intro to Drums class that I have. It's free, it's simple, it's easy, and it's fun. And then come on back. Okay, so here's the first student, and we're going to learn different ways to combine the three rudiments I mentioned earlier into two brand new rudiments that will immediately expand her drumming capability on both the drum set and the snare drum. Watch. Perfect. So we're gonna talk about rudiments that you already know and how to combine them. So do you know the drag? Sort of. You Show me the drag. And I kind of forgot. Okay. Uh, the drag. There it is. That's perfect. What? That's perfect. That's the drag. Okay. That that's the rudiment called the drag. What about the rudiment called the flam? Ah oh, crap! That's the one where it's like. Very good. So right now that is a perfect right flam because the right hand is the one that is, is the big note, right? Is the loud note. And then that's the left hand flam. Good. And a paradiddle. Obviously, everybody knows the paradiddle because it's the first thing I teach. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're going to talk about a combination. The first Ooh. one is a flamadiddle. There's such thing as that? As a flamadiddle. Now, drummers and the whole drum community, all of our rudiments sound really funny. Like, there's a rudiment called patafla-fla, right? There's a rudiment called a pata pata. There's rudiments called flam drag triple paradiddle diddle. <laughs> I mean, we have really funny names, but because um, where it comes from is in Indian, right? Indian percussion, African percussion, Brazilian percussion. They use the voice to to basically mimic what it is that they're playing. So it's called a paradiddle because when you do two in one hand, it's called a diddle. And the para comes from paradiddle, paradiddle, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. A flamadiddle is the same thing. And the way, we, the way that it says is exactly how it sounds. Flamadiddle, flamadiddle. Sort of. Sort of, so it goes like this. Good. Our right flam, left hit, middle on the right. Hand. Wait. Flam, left, right, right. All right. And then the next wave, you're going to do a left flam. So you want that left hand up a little bit higher. Left, flam, right, left, left. Okay. So it actually, I believe I have a picture of it here. You see the flam, right, Right flam, left, right, right. Right? Wait, so it's... 
wait. <laughs> left, left, blam, right? Left, blam. Right, blam. Left, flam. And <laughs> perfect. Perfect. So there's another way. There is another way to to make that even more ridiculous. Uh, you see over there the flam accent on uh, the same page. Yes. Um, the flam accent is just the first three notes of the flam a diddle, right? Yeah. So all of these all of these rudiments are really kind of connected, and you can actually make up your own kind of right people make it up all the time but you you, you want to make sure that you know how many notes you're playing but when you're combining rudiments you can do all types of combinations so there's a whole nother one with the paradiddle and it's called a drag paradiddle i'm calling it the drag paradiddle i'm making that up but the drag is on the second note so let's try it without the flam just give me a par give me a paradiddle. Now, put the which hand did you start with there? With your left. So put the double on the right hand, or if you start with your right hand, put the double on the left hand. Pair double diddle. <laughs> yes. Perfect. So when you play them both together, both hands. Very good. Let's play that. Let's let's play that uh, together for a while. Um, I just want you to get used to it. Putting the double in the middle there, and the way we're gonna do it is, I want you to play four times. Well, let's go eight times. Paradiddles sounding like this. Right. Mm -hmm. That's one, two. That's four times, and then four more times with the double. Right? All right, so I, you know I can see you. I, I can know, I know that you're cheating by putting all the doubles on the left hand. <laughs> do it again. I want you to do it again and just try. You can make mistakes. I That's thought why that you... if I played a little slower, then you wouldn't know, but okay. Oh man, I love her. I love her, I promise you. She has such an enthusiasm for the instrument, for learning, for learning new things. And you would think, over the distant type of platform that we're having that we wouldn't be able to really connect, but you see that we do. The personalities, she sees my face, she knows my smile, she knows my disappointment, she knows when I know that she's cheating. And all she wants to do is get better. It's what happens when you give someone the confidence of lessons and over and over again, they see themselves getting better, doing things they didn't know that they could do. Anyway, we learned. What did we learn? We learned that if you put the paradiddle, the flam, and the drag together, you can make two new rudiments in two different ways. But it gets even deeper. You can take all three of these rudiments and turn it into one amazing rudiment, all combined together, that is just outstanding. It's just mind blowing, okay? So watch this student. He's a student I've been working with for a little time now, and he's a marching band drummer. And he's gonna take all three of these rudiments, put them together into something called the Flam Drag Paradiddle. 
check it out. So let's go over what we know. So far, what two rudiments have we combined? What three rudiments have we already combined? Pair, diddle, drag, and flam. But now I'm going to share something on the screen and show you an even bigger combination. The flam, drag, paradiddle. Do you see what's happening there? Uh, it looks hard. It looks stupid hard. But all we did was take the two combinations we just learned and added them together. Flamadiddle. The drag paradiddle. Put them together, we get the flam drag paradiddle. Good. Switch it up. I want you to play the other hand now. Put the diddle on the other hand now. Ah. <laughs> there you go. That's the one that needs to work. The other hand. That's hard. I know it is. I know it is. But try it starting with the other hand first. You're going to play right flam, diddle on the left hand, diddle on the right. Other way, the other way, do it the other way. Flam on the uh, diddle with the, the first diddle now is gonna be on the left hand. Okay, so my diddle on the left, yeah. The drag is gonna start with the left hand. Ah, there it is, there it is. High stick. High five through the screen. High five through the screen. Bam. That's tough. All right. Now let me hear you do it again. Just that slow. Right paradiddle, then left paradiddle. Up. Ah. Started to cheat a little bit there. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. Time to take a break. That was tough. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. I'm an educator. I love that moment where they get it, where they're struggling and they finally get it, where everything they've been working towards just rolls into something else. Those two students have been learning their rudiments, have been playing school band stuff that I've been helping them with. Um, or if they, they're like times like now when they can't go to school, I had my own curriculum for them. They learned a little bit about history, history of rhythm. They learned about the rudiments and how to combine them. But more importantly, they're learning that they can do it. That's why I do this. That's why I love this. I'm an educator. What did he learn? The paradiddle we started with, paradiddle, paradiddle. He added the flam to it. It's now a combination rudiment. Flamma diddle, flamma diddle, flamma diddle, flamma diddle. He added a different combination to the paradiddle, our base rudiment. And then he put them together and you saw the joy in his face. You saw the struggle in his face and the joy when he overcame it, which was the flam drag paradiddle. I'm telling you, kids love this. Adults love this. Everyone likes to learn something. But if you're a drummer and you're an adult, I can give you lessons. If you are a parent 
and you're looking for something for your kids to do during these trying times for the next two, maybe even three, four, five months, we don't know. Maybe you want to take on some lessons. Maybe you want to give them some learning, some confidence, a little something to do to get them out of your hair. I ain't got none, but I know what it's like. I have kids myself. I've taught for over 20 years, and I'd love to be your drum teacher.